Hi, I'm Ellie from Geni. I'm here to get you started with the LG Optimus L3. I'll guide you through the setup basics and show you how to personalize it to suit your needs. With its 3.2 inch display and super stylish looks, the Optimus L3 gives you outstanding readability in daylight, perfect for those on the move. It's a great first step into the world of smartphones. We'll take a look at what's in the box shortly, but first, make sure you have saved your contacts from your old phone onto your SIM so that they are immediately available once you've powered up. Your Optimus L3 comes with an AC charger, USB cable, headset, user guide, and 1.5 gigabyte of internal memory. To get started, remove the back, insert the SIM, then your battery, and replace the cover. Now press and hold the power button until the screen comes to life. Once powered up, you'll be taken through the setup wizard. This is easy to follow and takes just a few minutes. Once your SIM has been recognized, you will see a window pop up asking you to enable the mobile network. Pressing OK will enable data if you have a data plan on your SIM. Your Optimus L3 welcome screen will now appear. Tap Continue. The language will default to English, so tap Next to continue. Next are the date and time settings. Either tick for automatic network configuration, or you can set these options manually yourself. Then tap Next. To use data services, your Optimus L3 will default to mobile network or Wi-Fi. We'll continue with the options selected, so just tap Next. You'll now be presented with options for Wi-Fi network use. Leaving the setting as default means you'll be notified whenever there is a wireless network available, so tap Next. Setting up your Google account now means you'll have quick access to the Play Store once setup is complete. Tap Next to create or sign into an account, or just skip this step to continue. Next, you'll be asked to set up Google Location Services. This gives applications your approximate location without having to use GPS. We'll continue with the default options ticked, but you can change all of these settings at any time after setup. Email providers is the next option. We'll cover this in more detail later, so for now, just skip this step. Tapping OK completes your setup, and the home screen will now appear. That's your Optimus L3 all set up. You're now ready to start personalizing it to your needs. I'll explain some of the standard phone features to get you started. To lock the display, press the power button on the device briefly. The screen will go dark, which means it's in standby mode. You can do this while in any active screen. To unlock the device, press the power button and swipe your finger up the screen as shown. This will display the main home screen. To switch to vibrate mode, press the volume button down until you see the vibrate icon on screen. While we're here, for extra security, we recommend that you create a passcode lock. It needs to be one you can easily remember, but not something people can easily guess. On the Optimus L3, your passcode can be a number, word, or even pattern drawn on screen. These options are all very easy to set up. Just tap the menu button on the outer frame of your screen. Now tap Settings, then Location and Security, then Set up Screen Lock. Select the lock option you prefer and follow the on-screen instructions. To return to the home screen at any time, tap the Home button. To select an icon or choose an option on the screen, just tap on it. To go back a step at any point, tap the Back button. Your Optimus L3 has five home screens, so there's plenty of room to display all your apps and widgets. To navigate between these screens, swipe your finger side to side. At the top of the screen, the red dot shows you what screen you're in. Now we'll get the communication basics covered, sending a text and making a call. To send a text message, tap the message icon on the home screen, then tap New Message. Start typing in the name of your recipient, and options from your list of contacts will pop up for you to select. Now tap Enter Message. You can turn the phone sideways to bring up a bigger keyboard. The autocorrect function will suggest words to you as you type your message, which speeds things up a lot.
When you're finished, tap send. To make a call, just press the green call icon on your home screen. Then either enter the number manually and tap the green call button, or tap the contacts icon and browse your saved numbers. The notification bar at the top of the screen alerts you to all the latest happenings on your Optimus L3, like receiving appointment reminders, missed calls, text messages and emails. To view notifications, swipe your finger down from the top of the display to the bottom. To see the details of a notification, just tap on one and you'll see a screen telling you more about that notification. Pressing back takes you to the previous screen. If you want to clear the remaining notifications without having to go through them individually, just tap on the clear icon above the notifications. Swiping down to show notifications also gives you access to the status bar, where you can switch services like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on and off, as well as controlling your media player. Next, we'll take a quick look at personalizing the screens. Your Optimus L3 allows you to customize many things, backgrounds, fonts, ringtones, and icon placement, to name a few. The screen has two types of icon, app icons and widgets. App icons will launch a desired application, like your email, when you tap on them. Widgets are animated icons that display live information, like the weather, giving you at-a-glance information on the go. Let's add a widget first. Navigate to the home screen you wish to modify, then long press on an empty area of the screen, then tap Widget. Scroll through and select the widget you want. It will now be placed on your chosen home screen. To add a new app icon to your home screen, tap the Apps icon, then long press on your chosen app. You can move any app icon or widget around by long pressing and then releasing your finger when it's in the spot you want. You can remove app icons or widgets by long pressing again, then dragging them to the rubbish bin. To change the backdrop shown on the home screens, just long press on an empty area of the home screen and choose Wallpapers. Select a gallery, then browse the options and tap Set Wallpaper when you find one you like. Google Play is where you can find a wealth of applications to increase productivity or enhance your free time. Here you can find almost everything, from social and business networking through to life planning apps, gaming and navigation. From the home screen, just tap on the Play Store icon. The first time you enter, you'll be asked to accept the terms and conditions. Once in, just tap on the category to go into it. Or the back button to return. To install an app, tap on the desired icon. On the next screen, you will see more details about the app. Tap Download to install. To browse the internet, tap the browser widget on the home screen or tap the Yahoo T-World icon. T-World is a home page for your XT Mobile that lets you stay connected, discover what's new and keep up with your world, all from a single page. You'll find news and services from anywhere on the web. It's fast, always updated and designed with your XT Mobile in mind. You will need a data plan before browsing the internet. Next, we'll look at email. If you added Google Mail during setup, your account will be available already, but you can easily add more, including additional personal email, corporate exchange, and social media accounts. To set up your personal email, tap the email icon, then tap Others. Enter your personal email address and password. If your password is case sensitive, tap the arrow key to change from lower to uppercase. Numbers can be typed by long pressing the key in question. When you're done, tap Next to complete setup. Before you set up Exchange email, you will need the relevant information from your mail server administrator. Exchange settings vary from company to company, so if you have any trouble with this next step, please speak with your mail server administrator. To set up Exchange email, tap the menu button, then tap Settings, Account and Sync, then add account. Now tap Microsoft Exchange, then enter your work email address and password and tap next. The next screen is where you add your Exchange server settings. 
There are a number of fields available, but you only need to enter the information your mail server administrator has provided. Now tap Next, then name your account and tap Done. Bluetooth offers you fast, reliable wireless connectivity over short distances from your Optimus L3. This can be up to 10 meters and you can use it to link many different types of devices like car kits, music headphones and headsets. To make use of Bluetooth, tap the menu button, then settings, then wireless and networks. Scroll down to Bluetooth settings and tick to turn Bluetooth on. Tap scan for devices, then tick Discoverable. This makes your Optimus L3 visible to other Bluetooth devices for two minutes to enable you to pair with one. Scroll down the list of scanned devices until you see the Bluetooth device you wish to pair with and tap on it. Check the pin number matches and accept the pairing request on both phones. You may need to follow specific device instructions for the Bluetooth device you are pairing with as every model is unique. The last feature we'll cover is power management will give you some quick tips to extend the life of your battery so that you can stay connected for longer. Decreasing the brightness of your screen helps save power. From the home screen, tap the menu button, then settings, display, and then brightness. Drag the point from right to left to adjust the brightness and tap OK. You can also change the length of time it takes for the screen backlight to switch off when your Optimus L3 is inactive. Tap Screen Timeout, then select a shorter time to save power. When you're not using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS, make sure these features are switched off to extend the life of your battery. To do this quickly from the home screen, swipe down to display the notifications and status bar. Tap to turn these services on or off. You're now on your way to discovering even more on your LG Optimus L3. Have a look through the menus and explore the applications to get this great smartphone doing the things you need it to. And remember, the more you practice, the easier it will become.